I'm jacked. I'm, I'm really excited, right? I mean, once I found out that, um, you know, obviously in, in, in Kansas City things were, you know, going a different direction, I, I was pumped for the opportunity. And, and uh, um, you know, when when Washington came calling, I, I was hopeful that that was a possible uh, destination. And, and I'm just uh, jacked that it worked out. Yeah. Uh, they wanted me because the feeling was mutual and, and uh, looking forward to it. Yeah, the good. feeling was mutual, so Alex, he wanted the Redskins. Alex Smith's going to love Leesburg. Oh, he definitely is. A lot of guys live in Leesburg? Yeah, they live. How close is that to like Redskins Creighton. Park? A lot of guys live in, well, not a lot, but the big money guys live out in Creighton Farm. How, how far is that from Redskins Park? One, 20. 20 probably, minutes? 20, 25 minutes. Mm-hmm. Does Coach Gruden still live in Creighton Farms? Oh, yeah. I think Josh Norman lives out there. I think D'Angelo Hall lives out there. Yeah. There's a couple other ones. All the big sillies. All the big, yeah, big guys. Who moved, who moved into RG3's house? Does anybody know? I don't know. Because he used to own a home out there. He did. Well, if, if, are you asking me, does that get me sized? Yes. Play it again. I want to hear it again. <laughs> Did you ever hear Kirk Cousins say that he's jacked to be a Redskin? No, not really. He would say he's the right things leave. politically. Yeah. I'm jacked. I'm, I'm really excited, right? I mean, once I found out that, um, you know, obviously in, in, in Kansas City, things were, you know, going a different direction, I, I was pumped for the opportunity. And, and uh, um, you know, when, when Washington came calling, I, I was hopeful that that was a possible uh, destination and, and I'm just uh, jacked that it worked out. Yeah, uh, they wanted me because the feeling is mutual and, and uh, looking forward to it. Yeah, that's what it's all about, being wanted, whatever. So he uh-huh. feels the love. <clears throat> Kirk didn't really necessarily feel the love here. Went out, performed at a pretty high level, I'd say. Oh, and by the way, I'm jacked that they're going to pay me 24 million a year. <laughs> right, You're that damn certainly right. doesn't hurt. You're damn right. <laughs> going to come out here and make like 75 million guaranteed. Yeah, he's been well compensated his entire career. Former number one pick. Yes, absolutely. He's been he's been taken care of a lot of money he's not for poor. a long time. He's not no, poor. He is not. I think it's I think it's a good fit, and the further and further I get away from it, just the, the happier I am. I mean, I, what? Just Kirk here. On I, what is interesting is I see a different nation by a different expert every day. Somebody says, "Oh, Arizona looks like the perfect fit." Oh, Minnesota makes all the sense of the world. Somebody else wrote, the Jets are the obvious choice. Denver, for Cleveland, they, he could end up anywhere. They literally, everyone has a different idea of what the perfect fit is for Kirk. So let him go figure all that out and have a great end of his career. We got this guy right here at the back end of his prime, and hopefully, we, you know, he can keep us competitive. Phone number is 800 636 1067. We could have done a lot worse. What if we brought in, I mean, God bless him. I like him as a person, but he's not nearly as a comp. What if you brought in Teddy Bridgewater and you're just crossing your fingers, you know? Or if you bring in yeah. a Case Keenum well, and you hope he duplicates his one outlier year. Well, that's what we said. We said he was the best possible option. He's the he best really landing was. spot for or, the Redskins. Or you bring in Sam Bradford and you hope he doesn't get injured like yeah. he always does. So, I think it probably was the best option. Um, and it takes it takes just, you know, gambling on a first-round quarterback again, which I really didn't want to do, especially when these guys are all big question marks. So, yeah. But but if, are you asking me, am I sized? Play it one more time for people just getting <laughs> in their cars. Does it move you at all if you're a Redskins fan when you hear the quarterback for a change is actually jacked to be here? I'm jacked. I'm, I'm really excited, right? I mean, once I found out that, um, you know, obviously in, in, in Kansas City things were, you know, going a different direction, I, I was pumped for the opportunity. And, and uh, um, you know, when when Washington came calling, I, I was hopeful that that was a possible uh, destination. And, and I'm just uh, jacked that it worked out. Yeah. Uh, they wanted me because the feeling is mutual and, and uh, looking forward to it. I don't think Kirk ever said I'm hopeful that Washington is my <laughs> Possible destination. Yeah, I mean, Kirk just danced around the whole thing the whole time was wishy washy. We actually got a guy playing quarterback here that absolutely wants to be here. And he's played at times at a very high level, including last year. Is he going to be, be excited? Is he going to be jacked well, with their 40,000 Cowboys? Here. They gave him the 24 million. Of course. They were gonna <laughs> What's give, he supposed to say? They were going to give Kirk a ton of money. He yeah, didn't but, want it. He no, also he, knows. He ask Alex have, Smith if he wants to be here in three years. Yeah, but he also knows he doesn't have some young whippersnapper <laughs> behind him that's going to take his job but he in will a year ev- like Pat Mahomes. Well, he will eventually. Might eventually. Only be, it might only be a year or two but away. But this year, he's probably going to have just Colt McCoy behind him. Right? Yeah. Oh, hey, I think they'll draft somebody. I think they'll draft somebody in like the fourth or fifth round. That would be my guess. They'll draft a project guy. And I think that's him. the way to go. You draft like a Cousins type and give him a couple years to marinate. You don't force him. 
to throw them to the wolves early, like so many of these guys are.